Glasgow has had many false dawns with big ticket transport projects, promised but not delivered. For example, how many times have we heard talk of extending the subway to the east or north? Sounds great but not likely to happen given the cost. We have heard talk of trams before as well. Remember the fast link along the Clydeside that quickly went from light rail to a jumped up bus lane that is hardly used and makes little or no difference in the city centre. Crossrail was endlessly proposed to link up the north and south rail networks without having to change, not just trains but stations. Sadly, also another, which despite the benefits, has never been delivered. Then there is the Glasgow Airport Rail Link, scrapped as being too costly and then it became the airport access project with the city deal cash, which was also scrapped. And then it was shuttles or pods to Paisley which was, you guessed it, scrapped. Now we have the Glasgow Metro with the first line to start at the airport and first stop Paisley Gilmore Street Station and then work its way eastwards into the city centre. The commitments from the council and their counterparts in Renfrewshire to move forward with it are welcome as is the statement from the First Minister that the Glasgow Metro is to be considered in the latest Strategic Transport Projects Review. It could provide a solution to the only way in and out of the airport being via the M8, which at peak times is heavily congested. It does mean passengers having to change at Paisley Gilmore Street to catch the existing train service to Glasgow but it is better than what we have at present. What cannot be allowed to happen is for the airport metro phase to be completed and for it to be left at that. The Glasgow Metro is a long-term ambitious project but one that is achievable and one that Glasgow needs. It was the big eye-catching recommendation of the Connectivity Commission to transform transport from the outer edges of Glasgow into the centre. We have plenty of buses just now, not always at the right time or in the right places. The number of passengers using the bus in the wider Glasgow region has dropped hugely in the last 10 years. At the same time bus journeys are taking longer, up to 60% longer. Other cities have tram networks that are an improvement on their public transport. Edinburgh already links the city centre and airport with a tram. The trip from Prince's Street is around 9 miles taking about half an hour. Glasgow to the airport is a similar distance from the city centre. The full metro plan includes lines across the city including to the north and the east of Glasgow. A tram line along Edinburgh Road or Gallowgate slash London Road would benefit communities on the route giving them a good, reliable alternative to the bus. To the north thereafter more on this story, visit the news article link.